Live from Toronto, it's Saturday night! Is it? It's roll. Yeah, it's roll. We're gonna have so many bloopers by the way. It'll be great. Everyone has that special object that makes them happy. But is there an overarching theme? So we decided to do some research on happiness and how uh, certain objects affect our mental state. We took some objects that make us and our friends happy. So we put them under a lens and tried to analyze the connecting aspect between them. First object we have here is from Tomas. And so basically, it was um, Tomas had a lot of trouble with the uh, lake. lake. The lake. Scary machine, right? So it's like you feel more confident and that makes you feel more happy because you don't feel like you can't do shit. You, you know you can do shit. It's like, yeah, I can do so. <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. Um, one of the objects I was asked to analyze was this corgi sticker. Um, the corgi sticker was one of Francis's friends, possibly be used for a laptop or a book or an agenda, something of the, of the sort that you'd see very often. And it may not be one of those objects that immediately gives you a lot of happiness, but it's one of those things that kind of, um, every time you see it, gives you a little smile. Uh, and yeah, just very small and just kind of there, always there and uh, ready to, to make you happy. <laughs> so this is Marvel. I don't know if you can see her. Um, this is Francis's family's cat. Um, they got her not too long ago. According to Francis, her life revolves around Marvel, which is really cute, I think. And one of her favorite things about Marvel is that she really it calms her down or makes her most happy when she strokes Marvel. Cat therapy also helps increase sensory stimulation, ward off depression, and inspire a sense of purpose. Um, and also it helps those who um, are especially kids with the developmental disabilities and those with speech and hearing problems. Um, my second object, I did a watch, which was Zoe's friend's uh, watch, which when you first look at it, first of all, you can definitely tell good quality. Um, it almost seems like a family heirloom, uh, mostly because of um, it being a watch, watches are, are often given at graduations, that sort of thing. Um, it kind of contradicts the consumer culture that has been uh, going on recently with the throwaway culture. Um, just throwing away anything that's broken. Uh, instead, this is of good enough quality or brings back enough happy memories that you want to keep it uh, and fix it instead of uh, paying for a new one. So, the happy light is from a good friend, Lucas. Thank you. So, uh, Lucas suffer, uh, has seasonal affective disorder, also known as SAD. So, with SAD, you are, it's because, it's as the name suggests, it's because of the weather changing and how much sunlight you are getting. And without all that sunlight, you are sad. Means this light basically just recreates those happy chemicals in our brain that to make us happier that we usually get from sunlight. But because there is no sunlight in winter, use this little guy. Okay. Okay. So these are basically Russian nesting dolls or Matryoshka dolls. Um, they belong to Tomas, who's little brother. Um, what is your little brother's name? Vincent. Vincent. He loves Adventure Time, and these were given to him by his mom um, for his birthday. And basically, traditionally, they are given to, they are given by adults. Um, a little insight on like the dolls themselves, which is the Adventure Time theme, um, is the main character, Finn. Um, he actually has this passion for life in the show, which leads to a realization. He's capable of um, more passionate and kind of deeper seated love than he expected. And it's kind of seen as a, like, it translates into him wanting more meaningful relationships, right? So it's kind of like the probable chance that his feelings were not reciprocated um, within his family and even possibly denied. So he becomes unemotional to a point of tears. If you want to know more about that, you're going to have to watch the show and he gets better than one month. So yeah. So overall, uh, we've got a common theme through all of these uh, objects. They all um, boost our happiness in some ways, obviously, but they act more as an aid than anything. Although alone, they're just like a bit of an ordinary object, you know, like a little fin here or stickers and stuff. But when 
you give it to someone, they can add a lot more and improve their life and their happiness. Overall, the phrase, uh, spend less on staff and more on experience is kind of often brought up when discussing um, happiness, right? However, all the while, experimentalism is thought to be good, as it can be used to expand our horizons and explore the world. But neither is necessary. Necessarily is neither better than the other. Both work well together to create the state of happiness or happiness in general for a person as happiness isn't linear. It is subjective to each individual and dependent upon one's own experience.